Okay, short video on how to get your eBay numbers. You want to go to your performance and sales tab. So performance, sales. However you choose to get there um, is up to you. But this sales tab is what you want to be at. Then you want to run your report for the time period that you're trying to get. In this case, I did a very old time period because we don't need to look at what my numbers are currently. Um, so I picked an old time period. It was for a month because all of the accounting that I suggest that you do is a month at a time. That doesn't mean you can't look at different periods, but I suggest when you do your bookkeeping, you do it a month at a time. This number here on the left, this is your total sales. This is what is gonna go into your gross income section. You are going to ignore the taxes this number selling costs, this is what you put into your expenses and it's just going to go under platform fees. So cost of goods sold other, or if you're using my workbook, COGS dash other, and then you'll attribute it to eBay for platform fees. Um, net sales, you don't need in this case. So for tax purposes, we are going to look at the total sales and the selling costs. The only time that you're going to need to use the taxes is if you do not get a 1099. 